Hi, welcome to the channel. If this is your first time, kindly hit the subscribe button below to stay updated with my uploads. In this video, I'll show you a quick tutorial on how to create your BitGet wallet. BitGit Wallet is a digital wallet platform designed to securely store, manage, and transact cryptocurrencies. It often includes features such as multi-currency support, robust security measures, user-friendly interfaces, and integration with various decentralized finance or DeFi services. The wallet aims to provide users with a seamless experience in managing their digital assets while ensuring high levels of security and convenience. Alright, let's open the app. BitGit is safe and trustworthy. It has a new assets and new opportunities. And it's not just a crypto wallet. Here, you have two options. Create a new wallet or import a wallet. For this video, let's create a new wallet. Agree to the terms and conditions. To create a new wallet, you have two options here. A mnemonic wallet for 100 plus mainnets for seamless Web3 navigation or a keyless wallet that supports easy login and wallet creation via email, Apple ID, and Google account. Since I want to write down my recovery price and save it personally, I will select Mnemonic Wallet. Set your personal PIN code. Great, my BitGet wallet has been created. Here's how the app looks. You can tap here if you want to create an additional wallet account. Underneath will be navigation tabs like Home, Markets, Trade, Discover, and Wallet buttons. Under the Wallet tab, you can also see your total balance. Here, you will see the Send, Deposit, staking and transaction buttons and the list of crypto you have and so much more the most important part is to back up your wallet to do it just tap the backup button here please note your mnemonic price is equivalent to your wallet password obtaining the mnemonic price is equivalent to obtaining ownership over the assets so keep it safe transcribe your mnemonic price by hand or store it securely on an offline device Copying or screenshotting the mnemonic price poses a significant leakage risk, endangering your assets. And lastly, store your mnemonic price in a safe place. A lost mnemonic price will result in asset loss. Just tap Backup Mnemonic to see your 12 recovery prices. That's all for this video. If you have questions, feel free to comment below. And please don't forget to like subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more cryptocurrency video tutorials. See you in my next video.